And it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have leftover colors, and there is yucky is the painting that they came from. And uh, so that's going to be stage one, and I hope I can use up some of these. And I think what I want to do first is just make a really fun, obnoxious colored sky. That's some Bahama Blue from Anita's. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a color shift that I changed. It might be uh, folk art. That's not coming out at all. Oh, there we go. I'm going to try not to use too much paint this time, and I am going to put my glasses on. And if I want a cloud, maybe I had to put a cloud in there now. No, yes, a little bit. Let's just put a little white in there and see what happens. I like those waggle marks. That might be a thing to do for another time. So I'm going to back push the spatula against the edge of my canvas so that I have a really good chance of getting enough paint. What is that thing? <laughs> Whatever you are, go away thing. To go over my edges in a layer so that I don't have to worry too much about coverage. It's pretty hot, so the paint is a lot thin, which means it may not cover as well as I'd like it to. And I'm seeing a few odd anomalous objects in my paint, so if I can grab my tweezers... Boy, it must be a thing with me today. I'm just using too much paint. So I guess what I'm going to do is take advantage of that moment and use all my extra paint right along the top edge of my canvas and then see how far I can flow it down. Grab a spatula blade full, push it right up there. Perfect, got it on my band-aid. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days. Okay, well, I don't give up easily. So, we'll just play an experiment. That spatula is going in the bucket. I could use a chain, but I think I want to try first to see what happens. I blow into my sky. Yeah, it is. It's one of those days. <laughs> wow. Let's find another spatula. And the tweezers. It's in the 90s out here. It's probably it's probably the day I should not be working. might be a great sky for a dragon. I'm going to say that every time even though I don't necessarily put a dragon in. Stage ones are like that. You never know. So because I have a fairly wet, heavyish layer of paint, I can take a few chances. Going back in with the spatula. I like those clouds. Not as much as I just like those droplets I just removed. That is a huge thing. See, huge thing. <laughs> wow. I like the pink I'm seeing. Don't like that canvas showing right there.
definitely time to give up painting for a few days while I can get rid of the band-aid because the band-aid's not helping my cause any. Not to mention there seems to be an awful lot of stuff in my paint. Let's see how that works. Down here. Definitely like the drops better. I like that I can blow some paint over the edge. I like that other purple better. I'm not sure where that came from. I wish I had some more of it. But it doesn't mean that I can't give myself a little bit more. So note to self, no ribbons, just drops. Hmm. Yeah, I got it whether I want it or not. Fingers work well. Ha! Huh. Wonder about that down here. All right, let's just get on with it. <laughs> Somewhat, anyway. I've got a skewer. And I'm feeling spirally. Well, the paint is heavy enough to get away with it. Add a little texture to the sky. The flow troll in the mix should flatten it out. because it's a mass of paint, it should sort of melt into the wet edge. They're kind of like that. All right, so I'm gonna give myself some of this. Not more than that, though. No more brown today. I did my brown thing and it didn't work out for me very well. And I tried to please somebody by making my colors more natural and didn't make me happy, so I'm going to use as much purple as I want now. And I recall myself saying that the weirder the marks, the better off I am. So we'll start with weird and we'll get weirder. <laughs> Let's go for a little bit of this, um, I think that's the black enamel. Well, if it is, I don't know it because I've finally fingerprinted enough over the label it had to make it go away. So let's grab an edge catcher, preferably one that's not totally beautiful. Let's go up this time. Up and down and all around. Looks like there's going to be another puddle. I might be able to use more of this paint than I thought. Which is a good plan. I'd like to use up that paint because it makes me feel terrible to waste that amount of paint. So I'm going to rock my edge catcher slightly when I hit the edge. I'm 
also going to bring it, bring all that paint down, hopefully. Throw it back up again. I can use whatever's on my edge catcher or my leftover paint, or I can just stick my finger in there. I don't know why anybody, I mean, if you want natural looking results, grab a picture. I like the idea of having some more of my color shifting folk art green gold. I want some Prussian blue and some darker purple. And maybe a little bit of, I think a little bit more of this would be good. One of these times I'm going to catch that thing that's in there. And what's last? Maybe a little minty green. I'm looking for the copper and it's right there. So before I can get to one side, I'm going to let this paint roll back in because the heavier paint will flow easily. And once I get it sort of evenly across, that means I can flow it down to the bottom again. Band-Aid is making my life interesting today. <laughs> Very interesting. So let's go down to the bottom. I see I have something in my paint. The paint sort of makes a seal. I'm going to roll it down and throw it back. I see that thing in there and I want to know if it's a thing. Yep. So I'm just watching where the flow of paint is. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab, I'm going to wipe off my spatula. Not that I couldn't have used that paint. Paint is beginning to dry out here. It is a hot day. I'm going to move my spare away. Let all of that paint right there become part of this artwork. I need more paint to move paint. I've got it in that dish over there. I don't think so though. So you notice I'm only using the bottom part of the edge catcher because I don't want to take any color off the top half. I'm going to tip all of that up to a degree before letting it all flow down. When I get enough of a puddle, I'm going to move it first down so I can cover that and then try and move it back up. Oh, I got more of a... I got an edge of a mountain. I'm going to use my spatula again, which is an OXO omelet turning spatula available on the Amazon link below the link tree underneath the video. It may be above, it may be below. Show more. There, I like that. And I like that. And what's good on one side is probably good on another. Let's run it right up the edges. Sounds like a plan. I'll just stick my fingers in these holes. I wonder if I can put trees in there. When I was a kid, I got to go into be included in one of my parents' shows. And I did a mountainside, a Vermont mountainside as I recall, by just putting little hash marks, little, little gouges for trees. And they do kind of look like trees. And with the paint poured paint, it adds a neat texture in there, and I like it. I can go up or I can go down. As it pulls on them, it sort of 
leaves a few marks like There we go. Like actual trees. Because there's usually other colors behind there. Steal a little bit of that black and do the same thing over there. Still a little light green and put it over here. That's kind of cool. I like it. Still a little more green and put some over here. Up in the distance. Neat. Now if we put a dragon in that sky, it'll look like he's playing over something slightly less abstract. I'm going to torch. I'm going to tell you guys that there's 15 seconds left before my timer goes off. So I'm going to give myself two minutes to tell you whatever I'm going to tell you. Which starts with thank you for the contributions that have helped keep me painting all this time. I really appreciate that. If you want to help contribute to keeping the videos rolling in, then PayPal and Patreon icons are on my YouTube channel header. And the links are also underneath the video on the link tree. I really want to, uh, move some of that down. Make sure I'm not picking up one I just did trees with. Kind of want to add some more paint there. Maybe a couple fingerfuls would be all it takes. Wow, the spirals mostly stayed in the sky. In spite of the fact that I was tipping the bottom all over the place. That's kind of cool. The clouds came out nice. I like that. I don't recommend sticking your fingers in the paint. That's pretty cool. You know what? I like all of that. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching my videos longer. I really, really appreciate that. I've got just enough paint on my edges to fix my, my missing area. Perfect. Check that out. That's wonderful. Same on this side. We're all good over here. I should check the bottom too. I can make those ridges go up as far as I want. That's pretty neat. So I love you guys. There's going on 88,000 of you. And uh, if you want to check out playlists on my YouTube channel, You'll find over 1,400 videos there, organized by genre and by, uh, by the hundred. Thank you guys for the wonderful comments, by the way. Thank you for watching longer. Check your notifications. Make sure they're on. Look for Teespring clothing underneath the video, all over print leggings and t-shirts. Uh, underneath the link tree, right under the video, right above Show More, you'll find Pinterest and Instagram and Twitter links. I appreciate your thumbs up. My paint pouring recipe is under the description under the video. And uh, look for the monthly drawing on the last 20 seconds of the end screen exhibition video, which will share with you the prizes for that given month. And should you want to be one of those contributors to PayPal or Patreon to keep me painting, you'll be automatically entered in the drawing. So I love you guys. I don't mind my blue sky. I might have to put another cloud in down here because that's kind of bugging me. But otherwise, I'd say we're pretty well off. And the nice thing about using, having used mostly that solid color is I can mix that up right now. Camouflage that little area and make another nice little cloud.